Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video is on Deontay Wilder, and it looks like the WBC has mandated that Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil fight, and it's coming out in BoxingNews24.com, where it states... Finkel expects Wilder versus Brazil deal done by next week. And it goes on to state in this article, with Tyson Fury dropping out of his planned rematch with WBC heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder, the WBC has rescinded their previous order for the Dillian White versus Dominic Brazil fight for the interim WBC title and instead has ordered a Wilder Brazil contest to take care of the WBC mandatory that had previously been ordered. As such, Wilder versus Brazil will Will be taking place on May 18th at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Wilder's co-manager Shelly Finkel believes the negotiations will be wrapped up quickly between Deontay and Brazil, well before the April 4th purse bid is due at the World Boxing Council's headquarters in Mexico City, Mexico. Wilder and Brazil are both managed by Al Heyman of Premier Boxing Champions, which makes it simple for negotiations to be completed quickly for this compelling fight, which is expected to be televised on Showtime, World Championship Boxing. It also goes on to state, we're hoping to get it done. Hopefully it will happen this week or next week and hopefully it's done. At this point, it's not done, Finkel said to ESPN.com, but I think Brazil is a competitive and viable opponent. It also states, WBC World Heavyweight Champion Deontay Wilder shall fulfill his mandatory obligations by fighting Dominic Brazil next, WBC President Mauricio Suleiman said in a news release on Wednesday morning. This order constitutes the start of of the free negotiation period. If no agreement is reached between the camps, the WBC shall conduct a purse offer ceremony on April 4, 2019 at the WBC offices in Mexico City, Mexico. Quote, now with this article coming out, it pretty much states that the WBC has mandated this fight to happen. And according to Shelly Finkel, Deontay Wilder's manager, the negotiations for this fight should run pretty smoothly so they can be able to get everything done. And then all they have to do is focus on pretty much their training camps and getting that damn work done on May 18th. And it's kind of sucks because I really wanted to be able to see this fight on a network like Fox just for the simple fact is them having a fight like this on Fox, being able to bring Deontay Wilder to a bigger audience because even when he's on Showtime, he's doing over a million views on Showtime. So if you got to think, if Deontay Wilder is doing over a million views on Showtime, imagine what kind of viewership he would get on a big-ass platform like Fox. But at the same time, he's a very loyal dude and he's loyal to Showtime because they are the ones that has brought up his brand and helped him build up his brand. So with him doing it on Showtime, it really does not surprise me at all. Now, with this mandatory being taken care of, the only thing that I do not like is how you have these dumbass fans coming out talking about, oh, Deontay Wilder, he's fighting another bum and this and that and so forth and so forth. He's fighting AJ's leftovers. And it trips me out because it's like over the past year or so, people were talking about how Deontay Wilder was scared to fight Dominic Brazil. And now that he's about to fight Dominic Brazil, now you got these same dumbasses coming out talking about, Oh, Deontay Wilder, he's fighting a friggin' bum. That's friggin' Anthony Joshua's leftovers. Now he's ducking Dillian White. It's almost like with Deontay Wilder, no matter what he does, no matter who he fights, it's always gonna be a friggin' lose-lose for this dude. But Anthony Joshua, he can fight whoever the hell he wants, and nobody is gonna complain. But you know what? It is what it is. Deontay Wilder has had this mandatory for over a year. So since this dude has been Deontay Wilder's mandatory for over a year, he cannot fight Dillian White just for the simple fact is Dillian White is not his mandatory. But if Dillian White was Deontay Wilder's mandatory, then it would be common sense that he would fight his mandatory since he would have that mandatory waiting for over a year. Am I right? So with that being said, it's really good that he is about to take care of this mandatory 
And then after he takes care of Dominic Brazil, he'll pretty much have free range to be able to fight whoever he wants. And hopefully after this fight, he'll be able to fight Anthony Joshua in a big fight because Anthony Joshua's manager, Eddie Hearn, has come out stating that he would be willing to make the fight on Showtime. And the only reason I'm thinking that he's willing to make the fight on Showtime is just for the simple fact is he know how big this fight would be. And even with all of his previous statements talking about how much pay-per-view is dead and this and that he knows how much money this fight would make on pay-per-view so why not come over to showtime to be able to make the biggest fight in boxing because that would pretty much be the biggest fight in boxing so i hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and i'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.